how to make my Kinder Bueno cookies. They are the best cookies on the planet and I promise you, you're going to adore them too. This is good. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to make one of my personal favorite cookie recipes ever, which is my Kinder Bueno cookies. Honestly, they are just gooey, perfect, full of Kinder chocolate, Kinder Bueno on top, and honestly, I know you're gonna love them too. So let's make them. When I'm baking these sort of cookies, I tend to just use a baking spread because I find it easier. It's cheaper to buy. You can use any, you know, supermarket own, doesn't matter, but any baking spread. If you want to use actual butter, that's fine. I would start it at room temperature though, just so it's easier to mix. When I'm making these sort of cookies, I use a light brown sugar and a granulated sugar because I really like the balance of the two flavors that you get with them. Light brown sugar makes it a bit more caramelly, and then this adds a little bit more sweetness. But if you need to use all of one or all of the other, that also works absolutely fine too. So to start them off, you just want to cream these two together. These cookies are so easy to just add your ingredients to in a bowl. I usually just add everything into this stand mixer and mix it in, including the egg and the vanilla. But if you're just mixing it by hand, just give it a lot of welly with your arm with a spatula and it'll be absolutely fine. When it comes to the dry ingredients, it's so simple for these cookies because you need some plain flour. I don't use self-raising flour in my cookies because I just I find it easier to just have plain flour in. But if you do, just get rid of using the baking powder in this recipe. But then you also need a little bit of bicarb and a little bit of salt if you like that in your baking because it really balances the flavor really, really well. When it comes to the chocolate for these cookies, I just use the Kinder chocolate. It's the one that comes in the little tiny bars with the white filling because it creates the perfect gooey chocolate chunk style texture. I don't tend to use actual Kinder Bueno in the filling because I find the wafer just breaks down a little bit too much and I just use it for decoration on the top instead. Once your cookie dough is ready, you can weigh them out into the cookie dough balls. I make these about 80 grams each, so I use a cookie scoop, some scales, scoop them together and then place them on the trays ready to chill. Once all your cookies have been scooped, you'll just want to make sure to chill the cookies. I find this easiest in the fridge for about an hour, but you can do the freezer for half an hour as well. It will help firm these cookies up perfectly for baking. Once your cookies have chilled, they're ready to bake. 
I bake mine at 180 fan because you want a slightly hotter oven to help them stay in shape and make sure they're lovely and gooey in the middle still. And make sure to have your Kinder Bueno ready to put on top as soon as they come out of the oven. Now your Kinder Bueno are on top of your beautifully warm cookies. Let them cool for just a little bit of time, just so you don't burn yourself, but otherwise enjoy them warm, gooey and perfect and devour every single one of course. Enjoy! Enjoy!